Sweet. Hi everyone, thanks for watching Lori Wired, and today I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily set a proxy on an Android emulator so you can forward all of your HTTP and HTTPS traffic over to Burp Suite. So I'm going to pull up the page for Burp Suite, and if you're wanting to follow along on this tutorial, you can just download it from portswigger.net. And I'm going to be using the Burp Suite Community Edition, which is free. So this tool allows you to intercept, manipulate, and view all of the different web traffic. So I'm going to be using this to intercept my HTTP and HTTPS calls coming from my Android emulator. So first things first, let's start up our Android emulator. So in this video, I'm going to be using my Docker emulator. You can feel free to use any emulator of your choice, but if you would like to use Docker, I have another video as well that shows you how you can set up and easily follow along with this video. So I have my command right here. I'm going to press enter and my emulator should be up running in the background. Docker PS. And it looks like it's good. Let's make sure it connected to the Android debug bridge. EDB devices. Looks like it didn't connect, but no problem. We can connect it manually. EDB connect 127 for local, local host 127.0.0.1. And then the emulator will be running on port 5555. EDB devices and it looks like we're now attached so that's good and we can also bring up the user interface of the emulator for this particular docker container by going to localhost and then i already have it up here for 6080 okay that looks good and now here is the user interface of our emulator Looks like it's working, and in this video, I'm just going to be using the Chrome browser, but you could also use, they have this other browser if you're using a different emulator that doesn't have Chrome. Either one will work just fine. So let's open up Chrome. No thanks. Okay, now here we are. We're ready to start typing in some traffic and browsing the web, but I want to be able to intercept this traffic in Burp Suite. So what we need to do first is open that up and let's get our proxy going. So I already have Burp Suite downloaded, the community edition, so I'm just going to open this and we'll let it load. Next, for a temporary project, we'll just use the defaults and start Burp. All right, and this is what we should see, something like this. So we're going to go over to the proxy tab. And basically what this is going to be doing is it's going to be acting as kind of an intermediary between the device that's trying to make the web requests and then the server that's responding with those particular HTTP or HTTPS requests. So this proxy allows us to forward that traffic to our proxy that's listening right here. So now this is going to be listening to any incoming traffic and then letting us manipulate or do anything we want with it. So I'm going to edit this particular one that's running. We'll leave it on port 8080 and then we'll specify our IP address, which we can get by opening up a new tab. Let's see. I'm going to type IP config since I'm on Windows or if I was on Linux, it would be IF config. And we want this particular address. So 192.168.1.162. And we'll select that. And we're also going to be using an invisible proxy. So this allows any requests that are made. So for example, if I'm trying to go to google.com, this allows it to actually be forwarded there to google.com so we can send back the response to the Android emulator. So let's click OK. We're running on port 8080. We have our IP. Looks good. And now make sure that this check mark is actually checked or else this won't actually work and it won't be running, which has messed me up in the past. So just a note for that. OK, so now our proxy 
server is listening on port 8080, but it doesn't realize it's not going to pick up any of the traffic from the emulator. So we need to actually set a proxy on the device to forward all of that traffic over to this that's listening for a burp suite. So let's go. And we have our device connected. Let's make sure it looks good. And we can actually go through the user interface and just do this through the settings in the device. So we'll just click the three dots here. And if we go over to the settings tab, we can then select proxy and we'll uncheck this use Android Studio HTTP proxy settings. And we're going to set our own manual proxy and we're going to set it to the IP and port of the proxy server that's listening over here in Burp Suite. So let me do manual and it was 192.168.1. Dot, let's see. 162. 162. And that was port 8080. And we'll click apply and it looks like we have success. So I'm going to close out my settings. So now this should be forwarding all of the different web requests that we're making on this device over to that IP and port that we specified, which is the address of our burp suite. So just to show an example, let's go to the HTTP history. So far we have nothing. But let it, let's try and go to an HTTPS domain on the device. New things. And I'm going to pull over my terminal because I noticed for this specific emulator that um, you can't use the keyboard to type commands. So no problem. I will just input the text via ADB. So I'm going to do do it here, adb shell, and then input text. Oops. Let's go to a really cool domain. HTTP colon slash slash lorywired.com. And that inputs the text to our device. And there, it's a beautiful website. Perfect. Um, and if we go over to our burp suite, look, here we have it. We can view the HTTP request right here. So that's perfect. So if your proxy wasn't set up properly, you might get an error inside of the device saying that it's 404 not found or something like that. And then you would not see the traffic in here. So just go back and make sure that you've double checked all of the steps if you're running into those errors. So now let's go over and try and get some HTTPS traffic. So I'm going to remove this. And if we try right now, let's for example, go to HTTPS colon slash slash um, google.com. Um, we see we're getting a problem saying the connection is not private. And if we go over to our dashboard, this is saying it isn't recognizing the certificate. So that's because on the device, we have not input the burp suite certificate. So it's going to try and connect to the proxy and it's going to be like, I don't know who you are. I can't trust your traffic. So very simple fix. All we need to do is download the Burp Suite certificate and install it on our Android device. So it lets us connect to our proxy and trust that proxy. So if we go over to the proxy tab, back to options, we can click on import or export CA certificate, certificate authority certificate. And then we're going to export the certificate in the DER format and download that to our host device. So we'll select that, hit next. And I'm going to save it inside this burp folder. I'm going to call it burp cert.crt for certificate. 
and we'll save. So now we should have that certificate right here. And I'll go back to my terminal. And I'm in that same folder. So here's my certificate. And I'm going to push this certificate file onto um, my Android emulator. So I can just do that via ADB again. So ADB push. And then the file that I want to push to the device. And then the second argument is going to be the location that I want to push that certificate file to. So I'm going to push this to the slash SD card. And it looks like it worked just fine. We can verify this by just doing ADB shell. I'm going to slash SD card. If I do an LS here, I see my certificate right here. And I'm actually going to quickly move this over to the download folder. So move the certificate to download. Oops, MV. Been working on Windows too long. And if I do LS in the download folder, we can see that we have our certificate right here. So now all we need to do is go to our device. We'll go to the home screen. We can open up our settings. And we'll scroll down over to security and location. And we're going to find encryption and credentials. So I click that and then I want to install certificate from the SD card. So I'll select that. And we'll open up our downloads folder, which we can see our certificate right here. Since we're in our download folder right here and we have this .crt file. So we'll just click on that to install it. And we're going to give it a name. So I'm going to input my text to the device again. Input text. We'll just call it burp cert. Burp cert. Here we go. And then we click OK. And I did notice that for this particular emulator, it really wants you to set a pin. So if you get that, don't worry, just set a pin. But some of you might not get this issue, so you can just ignore this part. But I'm going to click OK. And then we'll do continue without fingerprint and pin. No, I don't care. Make it super secure. 1111. So 1111. Okay, done. And you should get this burp cert is installed or whatever the name you gave to your newly installed certificate. So now let's go back to our Chrome instance. And let's try this one more time. There we go. Now it recognized and trusted our certificate since we manually installed the burp certificate onto our Android emulator. So we have gotten past that and we should also be able to go over back to our burp suite, go to HTTP history, and you see all of this HTTPS traffic to google.com. Looks good. Otherwise, we would only be able to see all of the HTTP requests, requests, not HTTPS as well. So if we want to unset our proxy, all we need to do is hit these setting buttons again. And we'll just check that one more time and click apply. And now we're no longer forwarding all of our web traffic over to our burp uh, proxy listener. Thanks so much for watching Lori Wired. Today we went and we set a manual proxy on our Android emulator that would forward all of our HTTP and HTTPS traffic over to our burp suite instance that was listening on port 8080. So this allowed us to intercept and view all of the different HTTP and HTTPS traffic coming from our device. But in order to be able to see the HTTPS traffic and trust that, we also had to install the Burp Suite certificate manually on the Android emulator. So thanks so much for watching Lori Wired, and I'll catch you in the next tutorial. Okay. Whoa! 
Oh my gosh. <laughs>